What's going on YouTube? Tuka Bob here. I'm bringing out a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be doing a wheel rebuild. Um, this has been done by Kenny or King of the Fourth Quarter. So shout outs to him for the video idea and whatnot. So we're going to be doing the heights of NBA players ranging from 5'9 to 6'4", I think. Maybe even 5. Yeah, as you can see. Did I say 6 foot? I meant 7 foot. Uh, but yeah, so we're just going to do 15 spins. This is uh, the wheel here. We see it right here. And these are all the players that are in the NBA with the heights. Like it's right here, you can see. So basically, we're going to spin the wheel. And then whatever height we land on, we're going to count them up. And basically just randomize it and see what we get. So let's do our first spin. Hopefully, like someone like a LeBron James caliber player, 6'10". Not a bad spin. There's a decent amount of players that can play the center position, power forward position at 6'10". And as you can see, there's a lot of players that are 6'10". Um, like we have Andre Drummond, which wouldn't be bad. Ben Simmons. You know, I always talk about having him in videos. Anthony Davis. A lot of great players. But then when you get like people like... Uh, who? Like... Uh, are you sorry? DJ Wilson. Cristiano Felicio. Probably the, the least best player in the NBA right now. Honestly, like, every time I look up on the camera, this, like, every time I do this kind of rebuild, my face is always white because my website is literally just white, so I'm, like, getting blinded, but it gives me the good lighting, you know, you know? Uh, but I'm going to count these guys up, and then I'm going to do a spin or, like, a randomizer. You'll see that happening, but let me count them up, and I'll show you guys what we get. All right, uh, I count up the people. There are 40 players, so let's see who we get, and we get 20, smack dab in the middle. Obviously, I'm going to be counting from the top. I think it's just the most efficient way to do it. And it doesn't really matter since there's 20 here. But let's see who we get. Uh, I'm just going to count them up. And then I'll be back again since there's a lot of players here. All right, guys. Um, I counted it up. And we're going to end up with Eric Eric Mika. Honestly, I've never heard of this player in my life. Um, played one game, it seems like. Or I don't even know what this part is for. Yeah. Games played one. Eric Mika, welcome to the team. Even I don't even know if he's in 2K. So we're going to figure that out. Uh, and let's go to the next spin because that was kind of a trash spin. So hopefully we can get a good quality superstar here. 5'10". And I don't think there's that many players that are 5'10". I'm going to have to scroll to like the last, the very bottom of this to see who is even there. And we have three players. JJ Barea, Jared Harper, and Trentman Waiters, or Waters. Honestly, from these players, I'd rather have JJ Barea just because I know he plays well in 2K and he's a great, like, quality player in real life. So, three, generate, and we end up with Trent. Wait, no. Yeah, yeah. Trent Munt Wader, Waters. Why do I keep saying Waders? Uh, so, Trent, Trent, Tremont. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's Tremont. Oh, my goodness. That's rough. All right. So, we got two spins down. Hopefully, we can keep it going. And 610 again. Uh, as we know, there was 40 players there, so we're going to do that. And we got six, so I don't have to go that far. Uh, let's go all the way back up there. And let's make sure we can get there. All right, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bobby Portis. Wait, we're, we're one off from Ben Simmons. Honestly, Bobby Portis isn't a bad piece in 2K because he plays decently well, scores average numbers, and he's a great fit for the like the position that he's in so 610 another one down so let's just keep it going and we get 75 there's only one player that's 75 in the league right now and that is taco fall my boy we're getting taco fall on the team and hopefully he can be the piece to win us a championship uh, obviously we need some good quality players to put around side 64 there's a lot of players that are 64 and there's a lot of players that are good that are 64 so we're gonna have to see who we get here. Um, where is it at? There's so many players. Like I already see Victor Oladipo, uh, Kevin Porter Jr. for the J chunk, uh, the trade piece. Um, who else do I see here? Oh, that's basically it. Uh, Derek White is here. D'Angelo Russell, Dejounte Murray, Buddy Heald. So a decent amount of players. Um, so I'm gonna count them up again because there's a lot of players down here, so I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, believe it or not, there's 40 players also that are 6'4", so hopefully we get a good player here. And 35, that's five from the bottom, so I'll just count from the bottom, so one, two, three, four, five. 
Terrence Davis, I always see him offered in a trade or two, and isn't bad actually. Good trade value, so I'll take him. Uh, I'd rather have like Victor Oladipo, but you know we take what we get. So let's keep it going. We don't want this part to be the super long in the video. Oh, six seven. Decent quality players. Actually, not, why did I say decent? Superstar quality players in this part. Uh, we got PJ Washington, Paul Millsap ish, uh, Joe Ingles ish, Jimmy Butler, Gordon Hayward ish, Kawhi Leonard. Okay, I, I uh, for some reason I forgot that Kawhi was this tall. We got a decent amount of players. Time to count them up, and I'll see you guys <laughs> at the end again. All right, we got fifty players. That's a lot of players. Let's see who we get. Twenty-seven, close to the middle. Uh, I'm gonna count them up real quick from the top, like I mentioned before, and let me just, you know, come back to see who I get. All right, uh, twenty-seven gives us Kevin Herter. Not a bad piece. Good trade value, I believe. Like maybe three-star value trade piece. I'll take it. You know, we got six people already gone. We need to speed this up. Umer, turn it up. And we get 611. Good quality centers. Really good quality centers, actually. And there shouldn't be that many players that are 611. Relatively a low amount of people. So there are 27 players here. We saw Giannis there. We saw um, Mahimni. We saw Carl Anthony Towns. I don't know why I remembered Mahimni there. We have Lamarcus, Marcus Saul. Great players here. And this could be a star right here, nine. Jaron Jackson Jr. I'm really happy with that because he's a really good trade piece or I can keep him because he develops pretty well and plays really well in 2k so that's a really good pick I'm glad that the wheel didn't screw us up there and we got 6-5 yeah 6-5 so decent this is like where the point guard I mean shooting guards should be so you know we need a little bit of shooting guards on our team we're kind of slacking there and there's a lot of people that are 6-5 so more counting for me. All right, so there's 61 players that are 6'5". Yeah, that's what it was. And hopefully we get a decent number. 22, I don't know, that puts it smack dab at one third of it. So we should get a quality player from this. Uh, maybe Devin Booker, but that doesn't seem right. Let me count them up and hopefully we can get a good star player. Well, we just got Iman Shumpert and we are one off James Harden. That's my luck today. Yes, it is. But, you know, maybe we can get Iman Shumpert a ring, you know, again. You know, you know when he was with the Lakers. You know, I mean, not the Lakers, the Cavs. He's balling out. I don't know why I said Lakers. But, you know, we got a lot of more spins to do. We got only seven, eight, eight going. And seven foot, there's not that many players there. That's honestly just speeds up the video a little bit more. You know, give us a decent. Honestly, there might be a decent center here. Um, there's Brooke Lopez, Alex Len. Uh, Hassan Whiteside tried the best off option here or Laurie Markkinen Joel Embiid is there okay there's actually a decent amount of seven footers all right with there being 22 players that are six foot I mean seven foot let's spin this oh did we get 22 because I clicked it I did click it I definitely clicked it and we get Willie Cauley Stein not bad not great a decent center that could be a bench I don't know what his contract is like actually it's really cheap I believe because he was on a one year uh, so that's not a bad pickup obviously not not a quality star center or quality player in general 7-4 back on like the tall players and there's only one player that's 7-4 and that's Bobby Boban that kind of that kind of hurts actually because we got I like the player I like the guy but uh, there's no reason we should have him on the team as because we got taco fall we got both of the tall guys in the league. We should get seven three would be huge. Poor Zingus would be nuts on this team. And seven five, we already got Taco Fall. I should probably just delete that real quick. Seven five and seven four since we they're already gone, you know. And hopefully that gives us a better chance at getting someone better. Uh six five, we already did this. I believe it was like sixty one. Yeah, sixty one for sure. Let's do that real quick, and we get two. Um, let's see who we get. I really don't know who's on top of this list. And Adam Mok Mokal. I'm not gonna say his last name. Adam. We got Adam on the team. 
Mokaka. <laughs> Mokoka. Mokoka. All right, that's a real. That's a nice name. He played 11 games this season, so he's not terrible. You know, he's getting playing time. So let's keep moving forward. Six three. No, six two. This is like a point guard position. This is good. I like this because I don't think we have a single point guard on the team. Uh, looking at it, we actually don't. So that's great. And there's actually not that many players here that are six two. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen players. We can like we can go by this pretty quickly. And we get three. So six, two, one, two, three. Jason Randall. We take him to the team. Um Yeah, I don't know what to say anymore. I think we're kind of getting unlucky here. And we're on our one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is our thirteenth spin, six four. So I guess we already did six four. I just remembered as soon as I was counting them up. Uh, there's forty players here, and we get nine. So one of the top guys, I did see D'Lo, and he was pretty high up there. So and I don't think we're getting him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Derek White, trade value there. So I'm not disappointed with that pick or like person but you know obviously it could have been better uh let's keep spinning it 511 and i'm pretty sure we did this already and there's like three players here so oh no no 511 has four one two three four five five players uh dj augustine's probably the best pick here or oh, carson edwards he's been hooping this year uh so five we get three one two three wow we actually get someone that i wanted that's fantastic you know i'm not sure why they would make me wait for like you know this but you know i don't even know what i'm saying i'm just blabbering because i'm disappointed with our team so i think we have one more spin left and we're gonna do that right here right now and we get 610 quality player please i mean there's a decent amount of numbers i mean players here i don't know why i said numbers costas onto the kumpo wrong costas i mean wrong onto the kumpo brother all right i'll see you guys in a minute all right so with there being 40 players um we did this number already and we get two please be someone good i saw 80 up there one two andre drummond i'm fine with that thank you wheel andre drummond welcome to the team and that should wrap up our lineup uh three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen yes sir we got players ranging from taco fall to eric mika to Jaron Jackson Jr. Um, so pretty horrible team, but we're gonna rebuild them and hopefully we can win a championship with them. So I'll hop into 2K, put them in the roster, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, we're here with our roster. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know what happened to the recording. I, I put everyone in and then my OBS just stopped recording, so I had to redo it again. So we got because I didn't realize I was not making trades while it was being recorded. So we got Andre Drummond, Jaron Jackson. Uh, Terrence Davis. I didn't make any trades that like that were huge, so it doesn't matter about that. Uh, the first things first. I mean, I'm gonna keep Bobby Portis because we're gonna need him for trade value, obviously. I looked through. I went through these teams that were rebuilding or selling, and there weren't that many like to look through. But when I did uh, find one, I just saw the Bulls. They were rebuilding because they are always rebuilding, and I saw Zach Levine. He's not that big of a trade piece like valued, and. This is the exact same trade I did earlier when the recording wasn't going on. So I'm going to do it again, and hopefully they accept it right here. Yes, they do. I mean, it was a pretty big uh, uh, pick that we give up, but I think it'll be fine. And now I want to try to see if I can get a better point guard. So also, I saw that De'Aaron Fox was on the trade block. Not like the trade block, but you know what I mean. Uh, he was there. So we'll try for De'Aaron Fox, this pick, and I'll also toss in Kevin Herter. And a first rounder and a second you know maybe a couple seconds if not I'll just toss in another first maybe that's a little bit too much for De'Aaron Fox but we didn't have to give up another first we just gave up a bunch of seconds so that helps us with that point guard position now I kind of want to work on a shooting guard uh, spot because Zach Levine can put a three so I'll keep him there for right now let's work with Iman Shumpert and Derek White younger player uh, you know should have decent more trade value. Uh, Matisse Thibel wouldn't be too bad. I get him in a decent amount of videos, so I don't know if I want to get him here. Reggie Jackson, Patrick Beverly, Clint Capella. 
we do the Clint Capella trade, we don't need Andre Drummond. I always get Clint Capella, oh, Miles Bridges and Devontae Graham. This is actually a great trade. We pick up a backup uh, power forward slash small forward, and we bring up a good point guard off the bench. I really like that a lot. Mitchell Robinson would have been too bad. Uh, JaVale wouldn't be too bad. For 36, he's doing great. Kyle Kuzma off the bench? Gosh, there's a decent amount of trade offers here that could fit our system pretty well. Uh, LaMarcus wouldn't be too bad, but I don't know if I, that's what I'm looking for. Um, obviously, we're not getting a shooting out in return with this trade. Uh, but with this trade, we're getting a point guard and a small forward. Uh, the thing is, I know Miles Bridges will perform eventually. But do I do this trade and make Kyle Kuzma small for small for his overall will jump slightly, or do I just take it and I know because I know Javante Graham will play really well off the bench. Um, uh, I've had Javante Graham quite a few times. I've never had really Kyle Kuzma. I'm gonna do this trade. I'm gonna give up a little bit too much. That actually probably gave up a lot for Kyle Kuzma, but that's fine. Uh, let's make Kyle Kuzma small for it. His overall should jump up. Uh, pretty much. Oh, two overalls. That's that's fine. That's, well, that works out a little bit. But I don't want him to start. I want him to come off our bench like he does in real life. So we'll, I'm going to work with that. Mm. Uh, now that we got JaVale, I don't need Boban or uh, Willie Colley Stein. So maybe them two in a second. Well, or them two straight up. No, let's throw in that second. Maybe get a better s power forward. Because we don't really need a s center anymore. So Duncan Robinson wouldn't be too bad. Great shooting guard. Devontae Graham's here. And, oh, DJ Augustine and Bo uh, Bogdanovich. Both decent players. Both can bring in the shooting. And fills up both of the positions that we do need for the team. I'm going to do this trade for right now. If I don't like it, I'll trade it away. Uh, so, But that brings in a decent shooting guard and a point guard. Let's work with our shooting guard off the bench. Let's work with... Uh, who was it that's making it really well? Terrence Davis. He should have decent trade value. Let's do Terrence Davis and Andre Drummond. And a first rounder. That should give us a decent player. Um, Clint Capella in that first. Like an insane first. Mitchell Robinson. Julius Randle bringing a little bit of scoring. Do you think, would we be able to handle the boards if we don't have Andre Drummond on the team? That's like my biggest concern right now. Is that do we need Andre Drummond? I like this trade. Hassan Whiteside for Andre Drummond. Basically, same valid players. I don't know. I don't know about that one though. So let's keep looking through this. Um, Clint Capella, Bam Adebayo, Jimmy Butler. I said I wanted to trade for Jimmy Butler on the uh, earlier. So let's try to go for Jimmy Butler. I'm down to give. Bam, uh, not Bam. Uh, Andre Drummond for him. Straight up? No. And a pick. No. One more. And one more. No. Okay. So I thought that could have happened. But we, there, there's also a possibility that we'll go for BAM. Making 3 million. Honestly, BAM for Jaron Jackson. And you guys give me your worst player. Watch it. Watch it. Uh, who is it? Uh, Tyler Hero is making... Jay Crowder, and then we'll give you guys a pick, and another pick. You're not interested in another pick? You guys are not interested. Interesting. Uh, we'll give you guys some other young player. Um, hmm. Tremont Waters. Wow. Okay. Uh, maybe someone of value here. Taco. You guys like? You guys will. Let me trade trade fine for you. Because Bam wouldn't be too bad to have Jaron Jackson and DJ Augustine. Basically what I wanted to do. Hopefully Bam can improve. Uh, obviously he's not going to be shooting the three ball. I'm going to do it. Maybe that was a dumb idea. But then we can s flip Bam out of bio. Or we can flip Andre Drummond. Bam can start at the center spot. Which I know he does pretty well. So let's try to see what's out there for Andre Drummond. Uh, throw him in with the first rounder um, power forward spot I'm looking for um, Brandon Clark 
Am I giving up too much to give up Andre Drummond? Yes, I am, I feel like. So I'm not going to do that trade. Uh, Aaron Gordon, Jonathan Isaac. A two for one. Bam started a center spot. Andre Drummond, that might be a little bit too much. But sometimes you got to take risks on this channel. And sometimes you got to do what you feel is right. And I think that might be the right play. Maybe not for the long run. Maybe not for the right now run. But I'm going to do it. And then we're going to put Bam right back to the center spot. And yeah. Um, starting five. Not bad. Obviously needs a little bit of work. Our bench is pretty good. Exactly how I wanted it to be. So... Can I flip Aaron Gordon here? Oh, Solomon Hill. And where's Aaron Gordon? Did I pass him? I definitely passed him. Because he's making 20 million. Both of these guys together should give us a decent power forward. I like this Brandon Clark trade. I feel like he brings in more value than Aaron Gordon. And we can... Yeah, we can work with him a little bit more. Paul Millsap, Blake Griffin, Luke Kennard. Shooting guard, Blake Griffin. If he can play up to par, he's a great trade. Lamarcus can be good too because uh, he can stretch the floor if I make him a power forward. He'll bring in good numbers. Okay, I need to see what Brandon Clark's three-point shoot shooting is because I haven't seen it before. It's A-. minus. Defense can play good. I'm going for Brandon Clark. Easier said than done. Um, obviously, he's only an 81, but he will develop pretty quickly in this season. Is our team looking like a championship contending team? No idea. Let's make. Uh, let's try to flip Gorgia Jang, Jang right now. Because he's making a lot of money. And Bogdanovich, I'd like to keep you. And who else is uh, decent? Terrence Davis in the first. Maybe throw something out there. Josh Richardson wouldn't be too bad. Bobby Portis, bring him right back. Zubak. Not a bad pickup. Clint Capella. We're going to go for Clint Capella. We just need a power forward, and Clint Capella is the power forward we're going to pick up off our bench. Theoretically, he could start if needed, but we are not going to do that. We are straight up going to go for a Clint Capella. Give up two decent players. Obviously, they weren't going to play, and we're going to make Clint Capella a power forward, or we can make him a starting Interesting. I don't know which one I want to start. I'm going to make Bam coming off our bench, if possible. Or they want to start him. I'm fine with uh, Bam starting. Uh, Brandon Clark can shoot the three ball better. I might want to have him like this. So, our bench isn't looking too bad. The only place where I'm kind of lacking is a, a starting or a point guard, backup point guard. Let's make a quick trade for that. And I think that we should be fine. And I think I'm going to go with Bembry. We'll see what happens if I'm making a, a point guard. Might go down, actually. Oh, wait. That's a power forward. Uh, cancel that. All right. Let's just do it from here. Vitals, point guard, shooting guard. Honestly, he should stay this like about uh, 84. Or not 84, 74. Uh, 73. That's fine. Obviously, it goes down a little bit. But, you know, I can trust him to play. Let's make it a 10-man rotation. And all of our guys are getting minutes. Uh, obviously not the best minutes, but maybe we have some money to sign here. Trey Burke, do we have enough money? Oh, we're bringing Trey Burke. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, probably I could have brought in Derek Collins and Isaiah Thomas, but that seems to be a better fit. You know, he's at 80, 78 overall, so let's see what system fits us best. And, wow, we actually don't work with anything together. Which one works the best, though? Grit and Grind give us what? Okay. One more trade for Zach Levine. I think I'm going to keep the roster going. I'm going to simulate at least till like the halfway season. Hopefully we can be a great team and hopefully we can win a championship. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we're here at the end of the regular season. Finished 53 and 29. A great season. The last two months of the season weren't great for us, but that's fine. Uh, do we have any of our boys winning coach? Oh, we don't have coach. I don't know why I said coach, but Cavs. Do we have any Cavs member here? Maybe defensively we'll have someone here, but we do not. And that's fine. We do have Brandon Clark on the second rookie team. And we finished with the record, oh, with the fifth seed. Not bad. Could have been better, obviously. Uh, looking seven games behind. 
honestly, like, wow, the West was stacked, or either they just sucked. Looking at the player stats, we got Zach Levine, Bam Adebayo, De'Aaron Fox. I'm surprised Bam led their team. That was very surprising because he shot 63% from the field. Really great numbers. Uh, De'Aaron Fox. JaVale shot really well, too. Uh, Clint Capella. Brandon Clark off the bench. Bogdanovich. Kyle Kuzma. Uh, Jonathan Isaac basically was there for the defense. Shot the ball pretty well when he did shoot the ball. So uh, that's what I like to see out of him. I'm going to shorten the rotation just by uh, 9 to 9 so we can get our good players playing. They want to start Kyle Kuzma over Jonathan Isaac. I think I'm going to flip that around just for the defensive uh, aspect of it. Let's give him at least like 26 minutes. I was about to say 25, but 26 rounded out even. We're going to the Toronto Raptors. We should be able to beat them here, and we lose. We lose in the first round. I, I should have stopped it. I don't know why it just kept going. We had De'Aaron Fox going 2 for 10. I don't know if he's a good pickup in 2K, but, you know, it happens. We do lose in the first round, but, you know, I had fun making this video. It was very challenging. I, I thought it was challenging given the circumstances that we had with the players that we got. So, yeah, not terrible, but, you know, not the best. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. Uh, comment down below what you guys want to see next. I do have another video coming out tomorrow. Um, it's going to be one of a similar kind of video, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys enjoyed, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.